Միչ սենյակային դրների մեծ տեսականի իդրիալ համակարքի խանուծ սրահներում։ Սկսաց 29,900 դրամից։ I have the opportunity to address a question to the Deputy Foreign Minister of Kazakhstan, Alibek Kwantirov. Mr. Kwantirov, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you, Asheks. I would like you to comment on the perspectives and the current situation of transport communications between our countries, Kazakhstan and Armenia. A very good question. You know, uh, we are both landlord countries and we are surrounded uh, also by landlord countries in general, uh, especially with Central Asia. And um, so this is uh, our priority to develop the transit routes. Uh, one of them is the Caspian, uh, Trans-Caspian route, which is called the Middle Corridor. And uh, we have heard about the idea uh, and initiative of uh, uh, Prime Minister Pashinyan, uh, which is called the Crossroads of Peace. And I think it should be, it could be also interconnected, uh, just on the condition when all of the communications and routes in this uh, region in South Caucasus are unblocked. Uh, because we do see a very good perspective of uh, increasing the trade volumes and transit volumes for both countries uh, because you know Kazakhstan is in the crossroads also uh, it's the largest uh, ninth largest territory in the world uh, uh, the, the biggest landlord country so about 90 percent of all the trade that goes by land on land from china to europe goes through kazakhstan so we do see great opportunities here and uh, uh, at the same time simultaneously of course we should uh, settle all the infrastructure issues uh, some of them uh, are in the south uh, in the south caucasus but the more routes we have i think the more competitive uh, our trade will be what are the statistics concerning the trade and communications, um, the trade circulation between Kazakhstan and Armenia right now? And how will trade circulation be affected by the possibility of this new infrastructure? Mm -hmm. Well, according to our statistics, the bilateral trade amounts to about 300, uh, 400 million dollars, and uh, there is a great potential to uh, for the increase it maybe to one billion. And regarding the Trans-Caspian route, for example, uh, the middle corridor, just in 2020. In 2023, sorry, uh, it rose by 65 percent, uh, and just in seven months of uh, this year, it rose by another 63 percent. I mean, the trade volume, uh, the transit uh, through. Uh, this route and now uh, it is 2.6 million but in general we are planning to get all other countries uh, who are along this corridor to raise it up to 10 million tons so I think there is a very great potential so we together with Armenia and other countries in the region can also um, um, utilize this opportunity to uh, take out the benefits for our nations. Will Kazakhstan also finance this infrastructure or is this only political support for a certain fragment of mm. the crossroad of peace? Well, uh, of course there is a political support, but generally there are different sources of investment, including Kazakhstan government, our businessmen and also international financial organizations. Just recently the program for infrastructure uh, investment, uh, uh, the so-called PGGI uh, from the EU. So the, uh, settled made a decision to provide uh, a 10 billion euro on infrastructure along the middle corridor so we also have uh, other institutions who are also interested and that's why we are negotiating with different parties and uh, countries and also organizations uh, on different parts of this this corridor because we need uh, auto ports automobile roads railroads additional also uh, mm, caspian ports and uh, etc uh, digitalization is one, also one of the instruments that will uh, raise the effectiveness of this particular corridor. Thank you. Thank you. I had the opportunity to address a question or two to the Deputy Foreign Minister of Kazakhstan, Alibek Kandirov.